Welcome Canva creators. Today I'm going to show you how to create embossed text. The first thing you're going to need is a background remover. If you do not have a pro account and have a free account, you can use a site like removebg.com. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm tired of being kind of trying to be like all YouTube person person. I'm just going to be real with you and teach you like I would be teaching somebody at work. So the first thing you need to do is create your text, remove the background, and then if you need to, re-upload it into Canva. So I'm going to go over here and get the, the uh, text that I already re-uploaded into Canva because I'm, I have the free version. I use the remove BG site to remove my background. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to shorten this up because I'm going to be moving layers around a lot. So I need two copies of the black. So I'm going to duplicate that. So I have two copies of the black and I'm going to make another one. And I'm, I want this to be the same color that my background color is going to be. So I'm going to go here, edit image. I want to make a purple one. So I am going to use mystic for my second, for my actual color. And then I'm going to hit the apply button. It's going to pop up again, probably, and I'm going to hit it again. Safety first. Sometimes if you don't hit it the second time and you go and click over into your project, it'll revert back to the color it originally was. So and now I want to duplicate this. I'm going to put this one a little bit off to the side because I do not have to manipulate the color in that one. That's my top layer right there. So your layers are going to run like this. Your layers are going to be every other. So your very back layer is going to be this black color. So I'm going to go over here. I want to first hit the transparency and take it down to 81. And then the other thing I need to do is put a little blur on it. So I'm going to come over to the adjust and I'm hit the blur up to like 14. So my second layer, I'm going to have a slight blur. So I want to blur that to six. I want to take the brightness up to 21 because I want to have this lighter than my other, my top one. So I'm going to take my brightness up to 21, my blur to six and my transparency stays on 100. So my, my next layer here, I wanna take my transparency down to 27. I want my blur on 18. So we're going to cut my blur up to 18. And now I have my layers. Now I need to layer them. So we want them to go in this order. So I'm going to put this one on top of this one. Put this one on top of this one. We want to make sure this is going to the front or into the front. This one and this one. So now I'm gonna group these together so I can put them in the center. And then I'm gonna ungroup group them so I can merge, I can start manipulating them around a little bit. So we have our layers all together now. One thing you can do at this point if you want to is go and change your background. So what I wanna do is I wanna Go over here, it'll tell me right here if I want to, or you can use the color picker, whatever you want to do. So now we have this. So now what I want to do is start manipulating my layers to get it to where I want it to look. So I'll hit the control, first layer, second, one click, two click is my second layer. I will use my arrow keys to start moving that layer around and see where I want to go with that. So the second layer, is one of my darker ones. I want to kind of go up with. 
go over and like start playing around with that. Let's go. I'll click off of it and I'll hit the control and go one, two, three, four. And then I want a little this up a little. Let's get this over some. We want to put the darker one down. And then we want to take the second one, control click. If it's me on my second one, I'm going to go over up with that one and go over a little bit more this way, down. And then it's off of that. We'll go control one, two, three. That should give us to our light layer, which we want to go down with. And go over with some. Do we want the oh. and that looks pretty good. You can work with it more, you can go, but that's kind of what you want to do. You want to kind of keep on manipulating it uh, however you want to. Um, another tip after you get it, the way you like it the best is download this picture and if you want it in a different color re-upload it to canva and let me show you something you could do so let's change this to white and say i want to do this i like this but i want a new color so what i want to do with this is i'm gonna go in and edit the image i'm gonna go in my dual tone and say, hey baby, what picture do I like? What color do I like? So let's see, let's try it in a uh, little blush. What does it look like in blush? Oh, it looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like uh, Pepto-Bismol. Um, what does it look like in sea green? Oh, it looks a little weird in sea green. What is it going to look like in coral? Is it going to look cool in coral? Well, yeah, it looks like a bar of soap. So you can keep doing that afterwards, but hopefully you get it. You have fun. I had fun trying to figure it out because I see stuff that other software can do. I don't have. I try to mimic it in Canva and see if I can come out with something close to it or maybe better than it if I can. So I hope you had fun today. I hope you learned a little something. I hope I wasn't too annoying. I'm just trying to be me, y'all. And y'all trying to be you. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you like the video, hit a thumbs up. If you think I suck, put it down in the comments. But you know what? I love you either way. Thank you. Have a good day.